Since the compatibility of this tweak is build dependent, we are going to check if your phone is running a support build to use this tweak. Go to settings, then to system, and then to about. Click more info, then take a note of the version number and see if it's compatible. If it is, you can continue with the guide. If not, you will need to update your device to use this tweak. Welcome to the first tweak video from us. With this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the Advanced File Explorer tweak and all about it. First download the reg file from the Windows Universal Tools app to make it easier instead of direct registry editing. You can get a quick preview of the effect of the tweak to the file explorer from the preview picture. Download the Advanced File Explorer registry file. Once done, exit Windows Universal Tools app, then open Interop Tools. Choose this device as the provider, then open hamburger bar and expand the registry section. There click on the import registry file option. Now choose the registry file you downloaded earlier. Here are all the registry changes the registry file does. Inspect it if you want and finally click import. Then open file explorer and you will have the new layout. The first entries are shortcuts to default folders, the packages section is the location where every app stores their local data, in other words, if it's a game, this is where the save game are stored. The last entry named this PC will allow you to navigate through the data and main OS partitions of the phone, although the read and write access is very limited without the root access. It's an easy way to view most directories without the PC for mass storage mode. Follow along the video for further customizations like adding more entries to side menu. Before we go about adding more entries, we need a certain app which will make things easier during the process. Go to Microsoft Store and search for Universal Character Map and then install it. If you wish not to use Microsoft Store, it can be installed from Windows Universal Tools as well. After installing the app, let's continue to adding more entries. Now let's see how to add more entries to File Explorer. As you can see, I have a new folder called Backup which I would like to have an entry just above the Documents folder entry inside menu. To do that, we need Interop Tools. Go open the app. Go to Registry Browser. Then navigate to the displayed path in Registry. Go to the navigation root string value. Now you are seeing the every entry in the side menu of the file explorer, each entry is separate by a semicolon. Start typing according to where you want the new entry, 
since I want it above the document e folder entry, I'm going to start typing right before the start of the document's entry. Like I said, each entry should be separated by a semicolon so I will add another semicolon right after the one before document's entry and then start to type between those two semicolons. Type, u, colon, slash, users, slash, public, slash and then enter folder name. Since the folder I have is named backup, it will be backup at the end, change it according to the name of the folder you have. Now double check and save the value. Then go open file explorer and as you can see, a new entry is created just above documents entry named backup. But the icon is the default entry icon, let's set a custom icon to make it more appealing and easy to recognize. This is where that universal character map application jumps in, go open it. Click on the drop-down menu for font and select Sego MDL2 Assets. Now simply scroll down the list and find the icon you like for your folder. When you find the icon you like, click on it, then take a good note of the decimal value. Now go back to Interop Tools. But now we are going inside the folder icon characters key. There what we need to do is assign the decimal value of the icon to the path of our new folder entry. Click on the plus sign in the bottom toolbar to create a new value. First, click on the registry value type menu and select integer reg d word. Now in the registry value name field, type in the exact same path you entered in navigation routes. I will enter the path I entered before. Next in the registry value data field, type the decimal value of the icon you selected in character map app. Finally save the value. Then go open file explorer to see if the icon is applied. Voila, it's applied. So follow this same process to add any more entries you want. So by any chance if you ever wanted to go back to the default basic file explorer, we got you covered, go open the Windows Universal Tools app and go to the same path which you downloaded the applying reg of the advanced file explorer. This time, download the revert reg instead. When finished, go to Interop Tools to import the downloaded reg file. Click Import and Close Interop Tools. Then open File Explorer and you will have the old classic File Explorer. That's all about this tweak, have a nice day.